go into a big testing school. You got to properly Well, if you consider the academic achievement of young males in, the, in, the, in secondary schools, you can notice for decades now actually that they haven't performed as well as their female peers. How can we get these young males who are not performing up to their potential in class to, in, first of all, engage in class, to stay on at school, and then after that, to think about what they might want to do to make positive life choices. There's a series of classes, but it's bathed, almost swamped, with football and sporting metaphor through, first of all, role models who have taken part in class, who've, ex who've done well in school and at university. And so laying down those ideas, then we develop it further by saying, right, well, let's show how each part of the curriculum actually is related to things that they like, i.e. it's relevant to them. That's the key. We'll see you soon. See you later. Well, we've been learning about how you can be a part of the game of football without actually playing the game. We looked at a lot of interest in figures and people in sport who aren't as well known but do a just as big, if not bigger, job than the football players who are actually playing the game. It's quite, it's quite interesting to know how like your school life can go with the football as well. Football an aspect of like you could be into maths or something, and you could still get a football job as such as like the financial director or something along those lines. Is there maybe a, a tendency amongst some? boys maybe not to take learning and the classroom maybe as seriously as they maybe take the football and so something like this is quite good. Yeah, yeah, it's something a lot different and I think more people should get involved in it as people should know a lot more about jobs inside football. I got to kind of 15 and decided I was going to stay on at school but I had no clue what I was going to do because by this point... I, I think if you ask the majority of boys they'll say they want to be a football player but the actual percentage that make it as a professional is quite low. So to, to try and get them to think out with that is important and to realise that if you don't make as a, as a football player, you do need a backup plan. For me, that was definitely the case. I kind of I fell into coaching and I ended up really liking it. So I think it doesn't just need to be football coaching. It could be sports science background. It could be nutrition. I think it's a great idea, the, the balance between the fitness side of the sport and looking at the science aspect of, of football. It's allowed them to see that football is not just about playing the game, it's also integrating it to other aspects of a football career. I think it's given them something to focus on and see what else is out there, which they don't always get that opportunity when they're at school. It's been a fabulous experience. The university have been really good. And I think it's given the boys a good eye-opener of university life, other opportunities, all sorts of aspects that's linked to sports, Not you know, that the children might not directly have thought, thought of in the first instance. The bottom line is it's about being able to get that message across of taking part in class, not being afraid to do so. Once you've done that, to develop the confidence to stay on at school and then to think about positive destinations afterwards. But all the time, remaining fit and healthy and taking part in sport because of the importance with that.